So by the end of 2023, the United Methodist Church will be significantly less united. They're torn asunder by a host of issues, but mainly addressing the same, you know, type marriage and same gender love and clergy. There's been a great schism over the LGBTQ issues. for mainline Protestant denominations and the United Methodists have taken some lessons from the Presbyterians and Lutherans, et cetera. They've been disagree disagreeing about gay rights since the 1970s, but the issue came to a head in 2019. The General Conference approved a new church law, paragraph 2553, of the Book of Discipline, offering United Methodist Churches a path out of the church with their church buildings and property if they get approval from about two-thirds of their congregation, sign off from their regional governing body, and pay their fair share of clergy, pension liabilities, and two years of apportionments for the larger denomination. And that type of strategy expired at the end of 2023. Oh, wow. Then they had another plan. But by that time, COVID had arrived. And it's just been one gigantic mess. And the last time the United Methodist Church fractured was their split over slavery in the 1800s. And so also when they broke off from the Church of England in 1784. So recently, the Alabama Supreme Court rejected the appeal by 44 churches blocked from leaving. And this occurred June the 3rd, 2024, this year, just a couple of days ago. The Alabama Supreme Court has ruled against 44 congregations in South Alabama and the Florida Panhandle that filed a lawsuit against the United Methodist Bishop David Graves and the Alabama West Florida Conference of the United Methodist Church because they were not allowed to disaffiliate from the denomination. The churches argued that it was a matter of property issues and that a civil court could intervene. The suit claims Grave and his cabinet tried to run out the clock by not letting the churches leave the denomination and take their property with them as allowed by church law by December the 31st, what I was talking about earlier. They would not let the churches leave the denomination by the end of 2023. Judge Reed ruled that the court is without jurisdiction to rule on such issues because the relief sought by plaintiffs would require the court to interpret a provision of the Book of Discipline intertwined with church doctrine.
Many of the churches that disaffiliated from the United Methodist Church have opposed same-gender marriage and the ordination of LGBTQ clergy, which the United Methodist Church now supports after successful votes to update its policies on issues in the most recent general conference in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is absolutely heartbreaking. If I build the things I want to destroy, I become a transgressor of the law.